Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you a Wiser app review. Let's begin. So before we get into the details of the app, we should be asking ourselves, what is Wiser app? Wiser app is an innovative app designed to simplify how you manage your knowledge, ideas, and personal growth. It combines smart organization with powerful tools to help you retain and apply what you learn in everyday life. When you first sign up, Wiser prompts you to create a personal knowledge base. This is where you can store information from books, articles, podcasts, or even your own thoughts. The app uses intelligent tagging and categorization to organize everything, making it easy to revisit and use later. One standout feature is the learning templates, which helps you break down complex ideas into digestible parts. For example, you can create summaries of what you've learned and turn them into actionable goals. These templates are perfect for anyone looking to build better habits, <laughs> prepare for work, presentations, or deepen their understanding of a subject. Wiser also integrates with your favorite apps like Notion, Evernote, and Google Drive, so you can pull in content from different sources without juggling multiple platforms. It even has collaborative features, allowing you to share knowledge with your team or friends. The app's AI assistant enhances your learning experience by offering suggestions, reminders, and personalized insights to help you stay consistent. It can even track your progress and provide feedback, ensuring you're always moving forward. Whether you're a professional seeking better productivity or a lifelong learner, trying to retain more of what you study, Wiser is a powerful tool to keep your ideas organized and actionable. It's easy to use, highly customizable, and helps turn what you know into meaningful results. And before you get any apps on your phone, it's important to check the privacy policy of those apps. Because there are some cases where some apps will use your location, your personal information, such as your contact info, your phone numbers, emails, and so on. So if you want to check the privacy policy, you'll go to the top here, then select privacy policy, and it's going to give you details about what type of information that they will be using and whether or not they comply with the privacy policy. Then if you want to start, you go to the top right, then select sign in. And there you go. I hope this video was helpful for you and I'll see you in the next one.